What's up, people? It's me, and this is going to be my review of My Little Pony Generation 1 Rescue from Midnight Castle. And yeah, I don't, I don't normally upload reviews, because usually I can just put my reaction on YouTube. But I cannot put this reaction on YouTube, so you can see my reaction down below. But yeah, okay. My review of Milk Pea Generation 1. Don't mind me, I'm just uh, getting ready for my rup tomorrow, 4.30 a.m. You know it, hell yeah. Okay, but going into this, I did not expect, uh, I, well, I expected it to be a lot more girly. Because from everything that my friend has told me, everything that the fan has been saying, the earlier generations are definitely tailored towards little girls. So, uh, but I didn't, I didn't see that much. It was definitely more girly than <laughs> Generation 4, do not get me wrong. Uh, Generation 1 is definitely girly, but it is not as girly as I was expecting. And... <clears throat> It actually, I actually, overall, I actually did not mind it. It was kind of, the villains are kind of cool. <laughs> the villains are cool, actually. Uh, Derek, uh, he was pretty foreboding. He was pretty, pretty damn awesome. Uh, I don't even know, what creature is he? What creature is, and Scorpan, what creature, are they the same creatures? <laughs> I don't know, but I don't know what creatures they are. They look awesome. And so, somehow Scorpan was a prince, <laughs> just magically appears in his royal regalia, just, <laughs> I was actually a prince, you freed me. <laughs> but yeah, and that's another thing about it, uh, it seemed to be moving at 100 miles per hour, <laughs> like I swear, is that just me? I felt like it was going so fast, like the plot, uh... I barely, the only characters' names I, I saw were Twilight and, uh, what the f Firefly? Was that that one's name? I think, yeah. Uh, and it's also weird how there are talking ponies and there are normal ponies in this world with humans. So that, I don't know, that raises a lot of questions. <laughs> uh, that's kind of weird, but... Yeah, I want, in Equestria Girls, I want to see them run into a real pony in that world, <laughs> what their reaction would be. But anyways, for Generation 1, uh, it was not as bad as I was expecting. It was, uh, it was enjoyable overall, but don't get me wrong, it's got nothing on Gen 4. It has nothing on Gen 4. Gen 4 is definitely, and the music, the music could have been better. <laughs> the Sea Pony song was catchy, but it was, eh. and, uh, the other one was, eh. So, yeah. The music in Generation 4 is high, even by, just on any standard, Generation 4 music is high. But, yeah. Uh, overall, Generation 1 is, is better than I was expecting. But I heard Generation 3 is where it's, uh, that's where it gets pretty bad. <laughs> that's where it gets pretty bad from what I've heard. But that, I'll probably react to that in the future. But for now, I just reacted to Gen 1 because apparently I needed to react to it before the end of Season 4 to see some stuff that would help me understand what is going to happen, I guess. I don't know. St stuff is setting up in Season 4. Uh, it's getting me excited. <laughs> I think I'm almost halfway done. Yeah, I ju I, the last episode I've watched is Pinky Pride, Episode 12, with fucking Weird Al. <laughs> but yeah, um, anyways... That's my overview of Gen 1. If I had to give it a rating out of 10, uh, this is compared to Gen 4 and compared to any TV show. Just my overall enjoyment of it would be a 5. 4. <laughs> 4.5. That's my, that's my judgment. Uh, yeah. I thought it would be like in the 2s when I watched it, but yeah. Okay. Check out my reaction below, and see you guys later.